Hello, welcome back to my Nipolet TV. I'm Chiyama. So in this video, I'm going to be updating you about my PhD journey in the University of Nigeria, Nsuka. This is my second week of coming to find out and really thinking through my decision to pursue a PhD program. It has been about why am I doing it? That has been the question I've been asking myself since this week why am i doing a phd program i know in the previous video i talked about it being because yeah it was a dream i had as a child to study up to phd level mostly to just make my father proud you know and and my mom as well my mom would be so proud yeah that was the reason that got me to this point like and it's true you cannot anticipate fully what you're going to encounter along your way in any journey you're taking but at least the reason for starting that journey should be enough to propel you into a distant future where you can come up with new reasons to finish up the journey the reasons i came up with think about three of, three of them or four of them but let's just enumerate them the first one is that being a doctor just the just the idea of being a doctor makes me feel so cool about myself i feel so responsible i feel so smart like i feel like oh my god like over responsibility they worry me like i'm super responsible and that's that's just a really cool feeling i love the vibe like second reason i'm doing a phd is because it feels like something that would be very rewarding in the future in 10 years time i will look back on who i am today and say a very big thank you for starting this program and continue with it and seeing it through like i'll be very very happy with myself for taking this decision i feel like just something that will reward me in the future the third reason is that i have people that are encouraging me first of all is my mom she was the one that talked me into applying in the first place she has been on it since i finished my master's degree and i finally got the admission so even though she's telling me oh this one that one like i don't have to do it if i don't want to and all that i still feel like she is so so proud that i've started it or at least i'm considering it my classmate from undergraduate she's currently a lecturer in unn she, she she really motivates me but she doesn't even know i don't even know how she motivates me but just knowing that i have her doing this program with me motivates me every time like i would want to do the coursework i would want to read up i would want to get ready for the next class just i, I just feel like i have a, a a partner that i'm doing it with and then other people that have just told me that it's a very good idea to get a phd ah, about a handful of them not like so many people some people are asking me questions like are you even sure what you're doing like how do you leave your job to go and do P what are you using phd to do are you a lecturer but we're not talking about this we're talking about the people that are encouraging me and i just feel like i owe it to them now i don't want to analyze this one too much because typical will be like i don't owe anybody anything that's not typical me Sha, but like i'm just saying like just because someone is encouraging doesn't mean you have to like twist yourself to please them but they've really been encouraging me and it's it's motivator to continue with the program like i said phd was a dream i had as a child i told myself after i decided that i wasn't going to do phd again that if i ever reconsidered and these were the reasons i came up with the first one is if i find something worth researching about like if i find something worth getting lost in another reason why i would do my phd is maybe it will be something i would do with my husband like just later when our kids are out of the house we'll go back to school and do a phd together i'm still deliberating i could come up with more reasons why i would continue with my phd i'm still going to give it another week and by the end of next week 
I would now be fully decided on if I'm accepting the admission or I'm just walking away. If I accept it, the real journey will start. If I don't, it will be a wrap on PhD for now. So that's all I have for you in this video. Leave your comments below and tell me what you think like if you want to encourage me encourage me if you want to discourage me go ahead and discourage me i'm open to your opinions like i said i am still in the deliberation mode i'm still i'm still putting a lot of things on that advisement to see which direction i would take eventually and until next time stay wilding and thriving